Southwestern City School District kindergarten teachers excite, motivate, and challenge students on a daily basis. Our all-day kindergarten program provides our students with opportunities that will prepare them for a successful future. School bus safety is taught at all grade levels. Children are taught to stay in their seat, face the front of the bus, keep their hands and feet out of the aisle, not throw things out of the bus windows, wait for the bus to stop before standing, and listen to the bus driver. Kindergartners and their parents are invited to attend a first-time Riders Day where they learn all about bus safety and learn to board and exit the school bus safely. The date for these events will be published in a communication in June. Because we're going to draw for observation from what we see, and we're also going to be doing some painting and mixing of paint. Children learn critical and creative thinking and collaboration in their kindergarten art classes. They experiment with a variety of art materials and techniques to make their ideas come to life. They learn to communicate and describe what they see in selected artworks and recognize and point out basic elements of art in their own compositions. Art is really important um, in our school systems and especially in kindergartners because a lot of the supplies that we get to use in the art room, kids don't have at home. They're not easily accessible. All sorts of different experiences in the classroom and getting to explore all different types of mediums. So they get to do clay, painting, drawing, collage. They're learning the difference between oil pastels and crayons. They're getting to explore different things. It's giving them an opportunity, even in their future, to be thinking about how can art help me learn math? How can art help me in science? Um, when I'm older, could I use art as a career? Could I be an illustrator for all the books that we like to read? They're really learning why art's important and where they see it in their world and how they can use it in other subject areas and even in their future. Children develop a love for reading by being readers. In kindergarten, our students will spend time with books and print each day at school. With guidance from the classroom teacher and other professionals, your child will be exposed to a variety of stories and begin to read on their own. If they are already reading, students will begin to deepen their understanding of how texts work. Students will learn to ask and answer questions about key details in a story. Well, I think when kindergartners come into school, they're coming at all different developmental levels. Um, some have had a lot of exposure with reading, um, some have not yet. So we want to really get them to understand the different features and concepts of print, as well as being able to understand how to um, read the sight words that will help them, decoding strategies, um, and move them along so that they can become fluent readers by the end of kindergarten moving into first grade. Our job as kindergarten teachers is to get our kids' hands in as many books as possible. We want to expose them to all different types of um, both fiction and nonfiction, storybooks, poetry, um, as well as the features that those texts have to offer. Um, we want them to recognize the different features of the print as well as um, the illustrations and the jobs of the author and the illustrator. Just as students will be exposed to books every day, writing will be a daily event in kindergarten. Children and the teachers will jointly compose texts and will begin to independently create stories during their kindergarten year. Our teachers and other professionals will support each child in understanding how print works, moving from scribbles and pictures to using the letters and the sounds they make 
to refining a message to communicate to other audiences. Animals. Say that slowly. Ready? Animals. What do you hear first in that word? Teaching writing is really fun in the kindergarten classrooms because we get to see a huge um, growth when the children come in to when they leave. Um, when they come in, they do a lot of scribbling, and um, which is writing, and pictures that go with it. And by the end of the year, we're expecting them to write a couple of sentences and be able to articulate what they want to say. So in Southwestern, we start off with a lot of oral storytelling, which helps get them their ideas flowing. And then they start to begin um, becoming writers and really enjoying the art of writing. And so that's what I really like to teach writing in Southwestern City Schools. It's important because, um, and especially in kindergarten, we are setting the base for writing. So if we can get our students to love writing, then they're going to become the best writers that we can possibly give them in society. And we want them to enjoy it and to be able to express themselves. I love lunch. 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 And I go to lunch. Our school breakfasts and lunches taste good and they're healthy too. Menu choices are provided at the start of the school year so that you can see what your child will be eating on any given day. We also have online interactive menus for those who wish to see nutrition, allergy, and carbohydrate information. We encourage students to take advantage of the nutritious and tasty breakfast and lunch programs offered in each one of our schools. Today's kindergarten is more than just counting and learning numbers, although students will learn to count to 100 by ones and tens. Students will understand the concept of greater than, less than, and one more. They will also learn math concepts like addition as putting together and subtraction as taking from. Students will learn to measure length and width of objects and identify shapes and relative position such as above, below, beside, next to, and in front of. The number system will be explored in words, pictures, and using numbers to solve a variety of problems with teacher support and on their own. The math curriculum at Southwestern City Schools for kindergarten um, is covering all of our state standards and some of those would include um, knowing number names and counting that sequence up to the number 20. So things we're wanting them to know are how to identify the numbers, write the numbers, be able to make sets of those numbers. We have lots of manipulatives in our classroom that keep it hands-on, that keep the kids interested and engaged. I think that kindergarten is where it all begins, obviously. A lot of these kids, if they don't get this base down in kindergarten, when it comes to first, second, and third grade, there's holes in the learning. So it really helps them understand um, and be more flexible with their mathematical thinking and being able to describe that to somebody else and explain why they feel that way or why they um, think that five plus five is 10. They can use their language and, um, and be able to really truly understand that. I like about kindergarten that I always play with my friends and I always make new friends and I do writing and read books and my teacher reads the books. Making new friends, having fun, and playing with my friends. Reading, math, math journals, and making new friends. Kindergarten students explore various sounds, styles, composers, and cultures by singing and playing instruments, and by listening to different music and live performances. Students learn how music connects to other areas, such as dance, drama, visual art, math, and science as they master music-related vocabulary.
And I like to go to gym and music and art. I'm going to gym. In gym. Kindergarten students learn to recognize the value of physical activity for health enjoyment, self-expression, social interaction, and plain old fun. They learn basic skill sets and how to stretch, bend, twist, and turn to recognize how physical activity impacts heart rate and breathing, and how exercise strengthens the heart, lungs, and muscles. We're only given one body, you know, and we can either take care of it and make it better or we can let it kind of deteriorate throughout life. Um, so we, we just try to um, encourage that mindset of, I need to take care of my body and there's certain things that I should be doing and there's certain things that I shouldn't be doing. So we talk about, you know, basic lifetime fitness, you know, skills or games that they can play even at an older age as they grow up. Um, I also focus a lot with kindergartners on basic skill development, whether it's catching, throwing, dribbling, kicking, things like that. And then we also incorporate a lot of just fun game type activities to encourage teamwork and cooperation building. And um, the basic goal of PE in general, and especially at the kindergarten level, is just to make being physically active a lot of fun for them and to just teach them that it's, it's enjoyable to be active and hopefully we can help them foster that enjoyment throughout their time in phys ed and then as they get older later on in life they can still be able to enjoy you know being active throughout throughout their lifetime all of our kindergartners attend school in a new or like new building in classrooms designed specifically to meet their needs all kindergarten classrooms are in the same wing of the buildings with a kindergarten specific fenced playground with age-appropriate equipment. Our state-of-the-art elementary school buildings have flexible learning spaces for large and small group learning. There are outdoor classroom spaces to extend learning opportunities outside the buildings. Enhanced security measures help to keep our students safe. All buildings have Wi-Fi access and new technology tools to support learning and connect students to learning opportunities outside of the classroom walls. It's an exciting time in your child's learning journey, and we are thrilled you've chosen to partner with us in the success of your child. We are here to support the next steps, and we are excited to have you join us in the fall. Welcome to the Southwestern City School District and all that is possible for your child.